Hey y'all and welcome. If you're new here, my name is Amber. On my channel, we primarily talk about handbags and accessories, but also cover a wide range of other items to let you know if the quality matches up to the price or not. So if any of that sounds good to you, then stick around and let's hang out. Okay, today's video is a vlog sale. I'm going to go ahead and try to get all of the information out of the way and then just show you everything. So first and foremost, all payments go through PayPal. That is the only thing that I use, so we will use PayPal only. All of the pricing I'm going to be talking about is for the continental U.S. only. If you are outside of the continental U.S. and you're interested in anything, feel free to email me and let me know what you're interested in. I will work with you the best that I can and give you the absolute best deal that I can. But international shipping does get expensive. So I would imagine if you're not interested in a few pieces, it's probably not really going to be worth it. Also, all of the prices that you're going to see include shipping and everything. It is a flat rate price. There's nothing else to it other than that. If you are interested in purchasing anything, my email, I will put it up on the screen right now. It will also be listed in the description box at the very top above all of the items that are available. So if you're interested in anything, email me. Tell me what you're wanting and then I will give you my PayPal information. You send the payment over and I will get it shipped out to you in a few days. Everything will be first come, first serve. That's just the most fair way I know how to do it. Now, all of these items I'm going to divide into two separate groups. Group A and Group B. So for Group B, all of the items in Group B will be individually priced not expensive. I just need to get rid of things. Everything in group A. So I'm going to show y'all group A first. Everything in group A will be priced as follows. If you are interested in one item, it is a flat $15. That is it. I chose $15 because that covers shipping to pretty much anywhere in the continental U.S. If you are interested in two or more items from group A, then they're just 10 bucks, a flat $10. So if you want one item out of group A, $15. If you want five out of group A, $50. So I'm going to say that one more time, just so I'm super clear. All of the items in group A, group A only, will be $15 if you want one. If you want more than one, then they're all a flat $10 each. It's that simple. Everything in group B will have an individual price. So say you want an item from group B and then you also want an item from group A. Your group B item will count as your first item. Your group B item will be $10. So I hope that makes sense to everybody. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask. Now I'm going to shut up because I think I've covered everything and I'm going to start showing you all these items because I have over 60 to get through. So for the sake of saving time in this video, this is what I'm going to do. I'm not going to go through everything on each and every bag. I'm just not. That would take forever. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold it up. I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to tell you what the features are. I'm going to tell you if it has any flaws. I am going to tell you the condition that it's in, and then I am going to move on to the next one. Otherwise, we'll be here all day. All of these items have been shown on my channel at some point or another. So if you want a more in-depth look, then you can ask me where to find it, and I can help you track down what video that item was shown in so that you can get more information. Or if you want just anything else that you may want to know, just email me and ask. Everything's first serve, payments through PayPal, everything in group A is $15 for one item, two or more, it's all $10 flat. Everything in group B, individually pressed. I'm going to shut up, let's get started. Group A starts now. So the first item in group A is actually a pair of shoes. This is the only non-handbag item in this entire haul. These were a pair of shoes I picked up from Timu. I think they're super cute. I have only tried them on and worn them in my house one time. They're just too big on me. So never worn outside, just tried on. And unfortunately they were too big. I typically wear a seven to a seven and a half. These are a little bit too big on me, like I said. So if you're in a 
probably a seven and a half to an eight, these would fit you perfectly. I don't know what size these are, but that is what the tag says. So, I'm going to move on. Also, everything will have a number up here in this corner. You can find everything listed by its number in the description box in group A, group B, all of that. Y'all know how I do. First bag up is the little Dooney dupe. This one is in brown, never used, brand new. Shoulder strap only, does not come with a crossbody. Perfect condition, no flaws whatsoever. Next up, the little Fendi dupe. I think this one is adorable, it's just too small for me. This one comes with the guitar strap and the braided shorter chain strap. This one again, brand new, unused, turn lock closure, no issues, no problems, perfect condition. Next up is the brown version of the Louis Vuitton favorite, or the Louis Vuitton favorite dupe. So this one has a magnetic closure, magnet is good and strong. I have never used this one. It is in perfect condition. Comes with a longer adjustable removable crossbody strap and the gold chain. This is a slimmer bag, but awesome for quick trips out. So, like I said, perfect condition. Next up is the blue coach dupe. This is the older version, the larger version that I've shown y'all. So it comes with both straps. I have never used this one. I stuffed this one really well to get all of those creases out of it. No issues, no flaws that I am aware of. Unused, brand new condition. Next up, this one I recently showed. This is the little Longchamp dupe. This one has the push snap closure. Gunmetal hardware. Brand new unused. I completely forgot that I had purchased another black faux leather bag nearly identical to this, but it's just a little bit bigger, so I'm going to keep that one and let this one go. has plenty of depth, does come with the longer adjustable removable crossbody strap that clip, clips on to the D-rings right there. So, perfect condition, unused, brand new. Up next is one of the Dragonfly bags that I picked up. And really quickly, I do want to mention, because when I had put a few of these up for sale a while back, somebody had made a little smart-assy comment and said that I was trying to get y'all to fund my hauls. Not even remotely close, okay? All of these bags, or like 95% of these bags were well over $15, and I know that they were over 10 so... No, I'm just trying to get rid of some stuff and cover shipping. So I just want to make that clear. And this one in and of itself was 30 something dollars. So, and the only reason I'm letting this one go is because I already have so many bags in this particular shape that some of them got to go. But this is the green dragonfly little Boston bag type bag. I absolutely love this one. But I just don't have room to keep it. And I have so many that are already in this shape. So this one has the oversized zipper pull that you can lock on. It does come with the adjustable removable crossbody strap that clips on right here. I used this one once for about three days. So it is still in perfect condition. I would say this one is in like new condition. But I did use it once. So keep that in mind. And it does come with its little kind of shopping bag, dust bag type thing. That was the next bag. Up next is this little blue baguette style bag. Now, this one I did not pick up from Timu. This one came from Amazon a while back. I did show this on my channel, and I want to make this very clear to y'all. I have never used this bag, but I did alter it. So let me show you what I did. So the way you open this one is you pull this little buckle open, and you have a mag snap right here. Now, when this bag originally came to me, it had that center divider zip pocket in it, and I cut that out to make this one larger open pocket. Some people may not like that, 
but I didn't like how it was divided up into such small sections. I couldn't get much in it. The inside of this one has a zip pocket on the back and a very large slip pocket against the front there. I will put this little zipper pocket back in here if you want it. And this one came with two straps. So you have a shorter shoulder strap and a longer crossbody strap. And if I remember correctly, this one is real leather. I will put the little green check mark up on the screen if I'm correct about that. If I'm incorrect, I'll put the red X. But I'm almost positive this one was real leather. And then on the back of this one, you have a slip pocket there. This one is a good size. I just have so many bags, you guys, that I can't use them all. Next one up is the little purple Givenchy dupe. So this is the one that had the big buckle on the front that was inspired by Givenchy. Not identical, but very, very close. Quilted bag, slip pocket on the back. This is a smaller one, but it comes with two straps. This is the one that came with the Givenchy cube inspired strap that's super similar. And then it also comes with a regular silver chain. This one is brand new, unused, no flaws, perfect condition, just too small for me, unfortunately. Next up, I have the little Lueve inspired hollow basket bag. This one has two shoulder straps, and if you remember, this liner will come out and you can use it just like an open basket bag. This one is so incredibly cute. I absolutely love the design. Oh, and the little liner has a zipper pocket on the back. And you can cinch it closed for more security. But the only reason this one is going is because double shoulder strap bags just aren't my favorite, unfortunately. Next up is a little neoprene tote. I picked this one up from Amazon a long, long time ago. I've used this one once, but it is still in brand new, like new condition. No wear, no stains, no dirt, no anything. This does have a crossbody strap that comes with it. It is gray and white, and it is like a guitar strap. I have not pulled out all of the loose straps that go to these bags, but I do have all of them. So don't worry if this come, if any of these bags come with a longer adjustable crossbody strap and I just don't show it. I do have it though. So this one comes with the longer adjustable strap. It's a guitar, guitar type strap and it clips on to each side right here. And then you have your two shoulder straps right there. This has a really nice depth to it. Holds a lot. I don't remember if I mentioned it, but this is a neoprene fabric. So super kind of like squishy and soft and comfy. On the inside, you get two pockets on the back, one zip pocket on the front, and it has a ton of space. You can also remove the base out of this one for storage or if you just don't like the firmer base. Or you can keep it in and you know, have more of a structured base. It also has a full top zip closure that works perfectly. So this one is in like new condition as well. Next up is the smaller rainbow Kurt Geiger dupe. So this one has a double magnetic closure, the chain strap with the four grommets so you can move the chain back and forth and adjust it. It has Two sections on the inside with a zipper pocket in the middle. As you can see, the strap is still wrapped up. This one again is in brand new unused condition. Next up, this is a little coach bag. It's got the little hang tag. If you can see the emblem right there. I cannot remember what this was called and this is a very small bag. I also don't really know at the moment where the strap is for this one in particular. But this is more of like an evening bag or a little clutch. 
you can, like I said, I don't know where the strap is, but you can clip a little strap on this one. If I can find the strap, I'll include it, but I'm no guarantees on that one, but you can clip a strap on this one. It doesn't have any kind of corner wear or anything like that. I just don't know where the strap is. It has one little spot right here on the back, if you can see that, but the front, there's nothing. It has a little bit of like a snake trim right there, and there may be a few little scratches on this hardware bit, but other than that, it's in perfect condition. Gray leather inside has one kind of like card sized slip pocket back there, but it will expand. It's just a very small bag. So that was the next one. Up next, this one is kind of like a Chanel reissue inspired type bag. It has the quilting on it. There may be a few small scratches on this, but I can't really see them. I never used this one, but it's been sitting in my collection for years. So it has the turn lock, and when you open it up, you have two sections with a zip pocket in the middle. This one does have the four grommets, so you can adjust it. And this one does go crossbody on me comfortably. So this has probably about a 21 to 22 inch strap drop on it. But that is the next bag. Up next is the other little Chanel reissue inspired bag. This one was listed as a faux leather, but as I told y'all, this kind of feels like a mixture between a faux leather and a nylon. Turn lock closure. This one has one large open pocket. It has the adjustable strap that will clip on to your large D-rings right here via the quick release. No pockets on the outside. This one is in brand new, unused condition. Next up, this is a Vera Bradley laptop case in the pattern Bonbon Medallion. I have used this maybe a handful of times, if that. It is still in perfect condition. I cannot find any wear on it anywhere. No stains, nothing like that. So this has a front zip pocket, and I know it's going to be hard to see. But you have a slip pocket here, and then you have some pen slots over there. Otherwise, you just have the open space to put things like your mouse and Apple Pen, all of that. This has a top handle that does have some stretch to it, so it will give a bit. And then your back zipper section is padded for your laptop. This will hold, I think, up to a 15-inch laptop, I think. So that's the next one. Next one is the newer, smaller coach dupe that I found. This one is in a beigey color, magnetic closure, two straps, one open pocket. This one has never been used, but when I was pulling everything out, I did notice that it has a, like a scratch or a cut right there. I don't know, like I can't pull it up on the edges so I think it's a scratch. I'll try to get you as close as I can to see that. But I think it's a scratch from Customs cutting the package open and checking it. But like I said, I can't pull the edges up. So I think it's a scratch. And it is on the back. It's like right here. So it's on the back. But I just wanted to make you aware of it so you know exactly what you are looking at. Otherwise, it is perfect, unused, brand new condition. Yep, up next is the straw, the tote bag dupe that I recently picked up. The one and only reason I'm letting this one go, y'all, is because as you can see right here, and there's a few more up above me that y'all can't see, I already have several straw bags already, and I can't keep them all. I know I won't use them all. But this one is so good. I never used it. This one is in brand new, perfect condition. Comes with its crossbody strap. Y'all know. So that was the next one. 
Next up is the little Marc Jacobs inspired flat bag. So this is the one that has the two J's indicative of the Marc Jacob branding. This one comes with the adjustable removable crossbody strap that clips onto each side. For this one, you push and it releases. You have that top zip option if you want it. It comes with the adjustable removable crossbody strap. As far as crossbody straps go, this one does have a few like stray threads if you can see those. But this is a good thick one. It is two layers of the faux leather. The hardware is not super heavy weight. But it is nice and um, chunky. Spring works well. The inside of this one you get a slip pocket. And you get two slip pockets and a zip pocket on the inside of that on the inside of that one and a zipper pocket right here on the back and then it also has the top handle this one is actually a really good size not too big not too small I like this one a lot I just have so many bags you guys Next up is the gray Falabella crossbody dupe. Brand new unused condition. This is the one that has the whip stitching detail, the chunky chain, magnetic closure, slip and zip pockets on the inside, and it does have the attached crossbody chain. All the hardware, gunmetal, mag snap, perfect condition, unused. That's the next one. Next up is the LV Odeon dupe. Magnetic front pocket. Your strap connections. No pockets on the back. As I mentioned, this one um, has the double zippers and the really nice, thick, robust canvas. It comes with the adjustable removable crossbody strap that is a very good length, really good adjustability. Inside has some slip pockets, tons and tons of room, perfect unused condition. Next up was the little Mew Mew inspired shoulder bag. This one has the crazy quilting, the little logoing on the front, double zips, and it came with the little clip on pouch that'll clip onto the D ring here. On the inside, this one has a slip pocket on the front. Brand new, unused, perfect condition again. Next one up is the black Gucci Diana top handle inspired bag or dupe. I can't talk. I've, I've been going at this so long, y'all. I'm like exhausted. So, this one has a top zip closure and does come with the adjustable removal strap that clips on here and here. You have the faux kind of mock croc look on the front, and then the back is plain. On the inside, you get a slip pocket, I believe. There is your strap. This one has the faux bamboo handles. These are not real wood. They're more like an acrylic. But this one is in completely unused, brand new condition. Your feet on the bottom. This one's a good size. Really cute. I like this one. This one's probably the next one that everybody is going to go after. And it is the sparkly sequined, the tote bag dupe. So, the only reason I'm letting go of this one... Is because if y'all remember, I got the sparkly sequined Fendi first kind of dupe. And um, I don't use a lot of sparkly bags, but I figure if I'm going to, it's probably going to be a smaller bag for me personally. So I had a feeling this one would sit in my collection unused. And since these are very quickly disappearing off of Timu, I figured I would let someone else take this one so it would actually get some proper good use. So, brand new, unused condition, comes with the crossbody removable strap, all of that. I took the covering off the handles just to show y'all because I had intentions on keeping this one, but 
I had to use my logical brain instead of my heart and let go of a few things because I am overrun with bags right now, y'all. But that was the next one. Next up is the Chloe Woody Tote inspired bag. So this one is a larger tote, which is the only reason I'm letting go of this one because I just don't use totes anymore. It comes with its adjustable removable crossbody strap. Tons of room in there. There we go. Tons of room in there. It has the zipper closure. This canvas, like I mentioned to you guys, is really nice and thick and robust. Again, brand new, unused, perfect condition. So that's the next one. Alright, next up we have the Chanel DeVille inspired tote. Again, I think this one is absolutely fabulous, you guys. I just don't use totes. But I couldn't help myself but to get these because they looked so daggone good. Even though I knew better, I knew I wouldn't use a tote. And I'm sure I'll buy more of them because I just can't help myself. But again, this one has the really nice thick canvas on it. It has, if you remember when I showed this one, you could do all kinds of things with these straps. They're fully removable. Two top handles here. This one has no logoing or anything on the outside of it. You can put whatever you want on it. This one is in the beigey color. Zipper closure across the top. Tons of room. Zip and slip pockets on the inside. Brand new, unused, perfect condition again. Okay, up next, this is the cream color Rebecca Minkoff Edie crossbody dupe. So this one has a double magnetic closure. It has the chain strap with the four grommets so it can be adjusted. Faux leather feels good on this one. Has that additional zipper at the top if you want to zip it closed. And then this one has the two sections with the zipper pocket in the middle. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it also has another zipper and a slip pocket on the inside. Again, brand new, unused condition. This one's, this one's a really nice one. Stitching all looks great on the quilting. No pockets on the outside. It's a really good one. So that was the next one. Up next is the larger Kurt Geiger dupe. So again, this one has the two mag snaps. The inside is two larger pockets with the zipper pocket on the inside. No pockets on the outside. Brand new, unused. Four grommets so you can pull the chain strap around. This chain strap has the faux leather brake. So it's more comfortable. It has the metallic stripes. This is the one that got the scratch on the back right here. If you can if you can see it. It's pretty faint. And again, I can't pull the edges up. It did not go through the material, but it did give it a little scratch on the back. Doesn't affect the bag. It's on the back. Perfectly fine. Brand new, unused condition. So that's the next one. Next up is the denim inspired, or the denim Chanel inspired bag. I can't think. So it has the turn lock closure down here. One large open pocket does have the zipper if you want it. You have a slip pocket on the inside. And then this is the one that just comes with the shoulder strap. And this is the one where they did not finish attaching the um, denim on the strap if y'all remember that you could glue it so it do whatever you want with it I just know that this is a bag I probably won't end up using because I have so many flap bags but this one had the embroidery on it to make it look like the CC's this fabric feels nice it feels thick and durable brand new unused condition so that's the next one. Next up, as much as it breaks my soul, is the little baguette dupe. And the only reason I'm letting go of this one is because it is too small for me, you guys. Mag snap closure, two separate straps. One will go crossbody, the other is the shorter top handle strap. Everything works great. 
no issues, no scratches on this one. You have your D-rings there. There may be a couple of hairline scratches on this uh, buckle detail because it wasn't covered. But stitching and everything looks good on this one. Brand new, unused. Just too small for me, unfortunately. Next up is the little Balenciaga Neo Classic City. I can't remember the full name of this one, but y'all know which one I'm talking about. And this one is in the black. The only reason one of y'all is getting a chance at this one is because I picked up the other version that was a little bit larger. I absolutely adore these bags. So, this has the little zip on the front, if you remember, but this one isn't an actual pocket. It's just a, um, like a faux pocket for the detail. Has all the riveting detail. You get your zipper closure at the top. Your adjustable removable strap, but this one is only shoulder length for most people. However, any black strap you have will clip on right here and right here, no problem. Other than that, you just have the wide open space in there. So these do hold all of my essentials. They're one of those tiny but mighty kind of bags. So this one is brand new, unused, no issues. I adore these. So that was the next one. Next up was the Dior inspired kind of evening bag. So this one had the solid gold kind of textured top handle to it and it was had that curved shape this one was really elegant and that's why I know I will never use it because I don't go to elegant places it has the little kind of locking top and then it comes with the gold chain now I never used this one the outside is in perfect brand new condition but after I examined this one a little bit more, I did notice, and I don't be, I don't know if you'll be able to tell or not, but right up here, I can see the lining on this side has come a little bit loose. So if anyone grabs this one, you may want to try to just put a little bit of like super glue behind it or something and stick it back up there good because I did notice it was coming a little bit loose. But otherwise... Like I said, perfect, brand new, unused condition. Chain clips on to both sides, so this one is beautiful. Next up is the super cute little Gucci hobo dupe. So this one has no pockets on the inside, if y'all recall. This has the shoulder strap that buckles, and then it also has the extender piece to make it a longer uh, crossbody type strap. It has the little push mechanism right here to open up. Air paper will be included. But there's your attached strap and then the extender piece. Zipper pocket on the back. Beautiful, beautiful dupe. Nice, smooth, faux leather. This one is really pretty. That's the next one. Yep. Next up is the beige Steve Madden dupe. So, yeah, I picked this up in the blue, <laughs> and I really like the blue as well. So, I'm gonna let this one go. Brand new, unused, still has the logoing covered with the plastic. Comes with two straps, it comes with the logoed guitar strap and the regular faux leather strap has the top handle, the mag snap section right here on the front, your zipper section on the back. Like I said, brand new unused condition. And I know that these seem to have been discontinued on Timu, so I figured I would keep my blue one and give somebody else a chance to grab this one and then next up the exact same thing my black steve madden that i picked up again this one is brand new unused perfect condition 
I just figured I have so many black bags and since I'm keeping my blue one I can let somebody else have a chance at the black. Both straps included of course brand new unused. Next up this one is a kind of purpley magenta Vera Bradley nylon bag. So this one has a zipper pocket on the front, fully adjustable strap, not removable, but fully adjustable top zip closure on the inside. You have two slip pockets at the back. I don't know if you can see those or not, but this one is in like new condition. I did use it a couple of times but I can't see any wear any issues on it. There may be a stray thread here or there, but that's just common with Fear Bradley. So that's the next one. This next one is my Equip Mini Tote or Small Tote. Now, the only reason I'm gonna let this one go, and that's if anybody is even interested in it, is because if you can see right here on the front of this, you can see it really good with these lights on. There is a stain on the front of this. I love this bag so much that I did replace it with a brand new one because I couldn't stand it. Now, I'll tell you right now, my ring light is on, so it's making it really obvious. But when that strap is down, you can kind of see that one right there. But in normal day-to-day, -day, you don't even really notice it. Like, I can move this nylon around, and it just... Sometimes you see the stains, sometimes you don't, but it is there. So I just want to make that very clear for anybody that might be interested in this one. You have a really, really nice zipper pocket that goes around the front here. It has a ton of RFID built-in card slots. Comes with their little touchless tool thing. And then on the inside of this one... You get a zipper pocket, two slip pockets, and then a mesh stretchy pocket over here. And it comes with the adjustable removable crossbody strap. So as I mentioned, I did use this one and it has no wear or anything. But it does have that stain that you can see sometimes. Like I said, you can see it in the ring light really good because it's right on it. But in normal day-to-day, -day, it's really not noticeable. But that is the next one. Next, this is not a bag. This is technically a Vera Bradley cosmetic case. It has double zip pulls, if you can see there. It is round, and it does completely open up. On the inside, it is plastic lined. And then it has a stretchy kind of mesh pocket here. Like I said, this one is technically not a handbag, but it is a cosmetic. This is the one that, for y'all that have been here for a while, I did add the little uh, hardware to. That way, if we wanted to, we could add a strap to it and wear this as a little circular crossbody. So, this was my daughter's. And she decided that she didn't want it anymore because she could only wear it as at Christmas. And she wanted to use this as a little bag, but this is Christmas characters on it. So she felt like she could only use it at Christmas and she didn't like that. So if anyone purchases this one, that 15 or $10, whichever, goes to her. But that was the little Vera Bradley cosmetic case that I turned into a potential crossbody. And then the very last bag for group A is this, um, what is this? Nanette Lepore bucket bag. So this is a true, like, you can cinch it up type bucket bag. And I did use this one. Doesn't have any wear, any issues on it. I did use it though has a slip pocket here on the back and you can cinch this up a little bit but as you can see the drawstring is really just kind of on the front it feeds to the inside right here but that's where it stops and then you have a mag um, really stout this is hard to show you have a really stout mag snap closure 
Now, the thing with this one is that I'm going to throw this in with it because it came with it, but this was initially attached on the inside. And in here, this little thing has a slip pocket and a zip pocket, but the opening is so tight that I could barely get my hand in it. And they stuck it right in the middle of this. So it really hindered your accessibility. So I cut it out. And it does come with its adjustable, removable crossbody strap. And I did stick a hair tie on here to keep the strap down because it doesn't have an additional keeper piece, which it should. But I cut that out of the center and made it one large open bucket bag. The mag snap works great. So when you have it closed, it is still fairly secure. It's a beautiful blue. Absolutely love the color. Just don't use bucket bags much. So that is the last bag for group A. Okay, so as mentioned, that was the last bag for group A. And again, if you're interested in one of those bags, it will be $15. That includes shipping and everything. If you're interested in two or more, then they're flat $10 each, no matter how many you want. So that was the end of group A. I'm going to start group B now. Group B, all of the bags will be individually priced. Everything will be listed in the description box. First up, I'm not going to take this one out. This is a brand new Vera Bradley factory style go-ahead convertible crossbody. Two straps, shorter shoulder strap, longer adjustable removable crossbody strap, slip pockets and zip pocket on the inside, nice large zipper pocket on the outside. This is a black and white paisley print. Again, brand new, unused. Next one up is a small Vera Bradley ultralight small Vera tote in what is this pattern called anemone watercolor so this one is a really pretty soft pink background with beautiful pinks and purples and blues in it it really does look like a watercolor pattern ultralight nylon type fabrication super lightweight two shoulder straps no adjustable removable crossbody strap one zipper pocket here on the outside six slip pockets on the inside brand new unused next up lug flare in bouquet yellow magnetic foam pocket on the front nice large zipper pocket on the back adjustable removable crossbody strap fully rfid protected built-in wallet slip pockets zip pocket key bungee got the works the bottom of this one can flip up for flat storage really good amount of space i did use this one once or twice but it is in like new condition no issues next up vera bradley factory style saddle crossbody in anchors away this is a sea life oceany type pattern. It has seahorses and turtles somewhere. You have a big front turn lock pocket right here. Oh, there's a turtle. And then on the back you get a slip pocket like for your phone. Adjustable non-removable strap. Plenty of adjustability. Inside to slip one zip. This one has been used but it is in like new condition still. No stains, no issues, no wear, nothing. Next up is the Vera Bradley Performance 12 Convertible Small Backpack in Black. So I did use this one once, maybe twice. No wear, no issues, like new condition, except for one thing. So this one does come with an adjustable shoulder strap. The strap does not go crossbody and it is in kind of like a woven-y nylon type fabrication. I don't have it with the bag right now, but I do have it. So if anyone purchases it, it will be with the bag. 
grab handle at the top. Inside you get a zipper pocket and a key leash on the back. Slip pockets on each side. And then on the back you have a slip pocket right here that's basically for your phone. And then you have your backpack straps here. Now, when this bag initially came to me, these straps were fully attached. I cut off the original ring that attached these straps and I attached my own quick release O-rings so that I could remove the backpack straps and tuck them in this pocket in case I just wanted to use it like a shoulder or crossbody bag because when the straps were still attached they would hang down really low like this and I didn't like it so I cut those original rings off and put my own on it that is what is different about this bag it didn't affect the functionality the straps still work everything still moves and adjusts I can just tuck the straps in right now and if nobody buys this one that one's fine because I like this a lot actually I just don't use backpacks so I feel like it's getting wasted on me but I feel like these straps should have been detachable from the start so I just did it myself otherwise like I said like new condition no issues nowhere nothing Next up is a Vera Bradley on the go, and I don't remember the name of this color, y'all. I do apologize, but this is the older style that had the metal signature plate on it with the, like, contrast quilting. You have a slip pocket on each side, zipper pocket on the back, and then on the inside of this one, you get three slip pockets along the back wall here, and then a zip pocket across the front so this bag is in what I would call really good condition it has a couple of minor issues let me show you what those are as soon as I find them okay right here on the strap there are two little spots right there I have not really tried to get those out so I'm not sure what it is and then I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but right down here on the corner, there is just a tiny little amount of wear right there on the piping detail, if you can see it there. Other than that, the bag is in excellent condition, but it does have a couple of minor little spots. So just wanted to point those out to you. Okay, up next is the Vera Bradley Utility bucket bag in galaxy gray so I did change this one around again I changed the straps on it a little bit you can go back to one of my older vlog sales to get a further explanation on that this one has a mag snap pocket here slip pocket there two slips and a zip on the inside of there I changed the straps around and used this one once but it is in perfect condition the straps are just altered Next up is a Vera Bradley Small Vera Tote in the pattern Indio. So this one has been used quite a bit. It doesn't have any real wear on it, but the fabric is just softer and it feels more worn in, if that makes sense. Um, however, when I got this one, you're not going to be able to see it very well on the camera. But this back corner right here was stitched, I guess, a little bit too tightly. So it makes it want to kind of pop in a little bit more than it should. The bag functions fine. It will still completely sit up on its own when it's full. Has the two shoulder straps, no stains, no anything like that. Six pockets around the perimeter of the inside a slip pocket here on the outside and then a zip pocket in front of it with the additional smaller slip pocket inside there so that's the next one after that we have a Vera Bradley factory style trio zip hipster in the pattern tropical evening so this one has been used it is softer with wear and 
This one I bought pre-loved. This one actually should have went in group A. <laughs> but this one I bought pre-loved and the lining had started to separate right here. So I don't know if you'll be able to see, but I did personally stitch that back together. My stitching was not the best in the entire world, but I did completely fix it. It is totally secure now, but I did want to point that out. It has no real wear or anything like that to it, but the colors are faded a little bit and the fabric is soft from use. So that is the Trio Zip Hipster. Up next, we have the Vera Bradley Carson East West Tote in Bramble. This pattern is gorgeous. Just as I mentioned, I don't care for double strapped shoulder bags. So this one has a slip pocket and then a mag snap that is very stout right here on the front with another pocket there. You get a full zipper closure. <laughs> And then on the inside, you get your zipper pocket on the back and your two slip pockets right here. This one, again, has no real wear to it, as you can see. No stains or anything like that, but it is softer from use because I did use this one several times. So it's just a little bit soft with use, but otherwise great condition. Next up is the Vera Bradley Mom's Day Out in Plum Crazy. If you saw my other vlog sale, you know the sentimentality behind this one for me. Fully adjustable strap, not detachable. You have a slip pocket here and here on the front. A nice large zipper pocket on the back. And then this is called the Mom's Day Out because it was designed to be more of a sort of compact baby bag or everyday handbag mixed with a baby bag. You have two slip pockets in there and then it is lined in this wipeable sort of nylon lining to protect it. There's no wear, no stains, no issues of any kind that I can find. I absolutely adore this bag. I just don't use it anymore. So that is the next one. Up next is the Vera Bradley Plenty of Pockets Crossbody in Modern Medley. So this one has two zipper pockets here, a nice big magnetic pocket right here that expands down in here, slip pocket on each end, big zipper pocket on the back. You have kind of a woven-y strap. It is not removable, but it is fully adjustable full zip top closure and then on the inside on the back you get a zipper pocket and right here you get two really large slip pockets this one again no real wear or anything like that but this this one is a little bit faded I believe nothing too too terrible but I do think it is just a little bit faded so that's the next one after that, we have the Vera Bradley tote bag. So this isn't the Vera tote, it is just the tote. So no pockets on the outside except for right here along the seam, you get a hidden zipper pocket with a really good sized um, pocket in there. And it does have the grommet because this one came out during the time when you could feed your cords through and all of that on the inside <clears throat> excuse me on the inside you get three slip pockets on the back a slip pocket on the front and two pen slips and then you have a magnetic um, snap closure at the top two shoulder straps and this pattern is super bloom I think I forgot to mention that one so this one again is in perfect condition, no wear, no stains, no issues of any kind. And these totes are fabulous. They are super versatile. I absolutely love them, but I have several bags in Super Bloom and I have like 10 of these totes. So 
I figured I could let that one go. And then next up is the older style Vera tote. And this one is in pirouette pink. So this one doesn't have the zipper closure. It has the little loop and toggle closure, if you can see there. On this side, you have a really nice quilted slip pocket. And then on the back, you have a zipper pocket. The inside, you have your six slip pockets that are quilted nicely, really robust, stand up against the edge of the bag. And then you do have a removable base in the bottom of this one so that you can wash it. Again, I just don't use totes, you guys, so I really need to get rid of some of them. Next up, we have the Vera Bradley Utility Crossbody, and this one is in the Desert Flower Pink. So, this was a solid color, and then I added this little detail on it, just to give it a little more interest. So, you have a big zipper pocket here. Another big zipper pocket behind that that has some depths and, and a couple of slip pockets in it. I apologize. On the back, you get a nice little slip pocket for your phone. You have an adjustable but not removable strap here. These do clip apart, but I'm not sure what you would really use that for because you can't remove the strap from either side. And then on the inside, you just have a really good amount of space, beautiful interior lining, and then you get two nice large slip pockets and then a zipper pocket above those. So this one I used once or twice maybe, not very much. But again, it has no wear, no issues, no stains, no anything. I just added this little flower detail to it. So that's the only thing that changed about this one. But that's the next bag. Next up is the, Car the Vera Bradley Carson shoulder bag. And this one is in medallion something. I cannot remember. But it'll be listed in the description box according to its number with its proper name. This one comes with two straps, a shorter shoulder strap, and a longer remove and a longer adjustable removable crossbody strap. I've been at this so long, you guys, I'm forgetting what I'm saying. On the back, you get a nice large magnetic pocket. On the front, you have a mag snap with two slip pockets. And then on the inside, you get your standard two-in-one. One zipper pocket on the back, two slip pockets on the front. This one is beautiful. Colors are vibrant, no wear, no stains, no issues. I just have about 12 of these Carson shoulder bags because I love them, but I need to let a few go. So that was next. Next up is the Vera Bradley Featherweight Crossbody in black. This is still a relatively new style. You have your cinch pulls on each side, so you can cinch this bag up if you want to. Strap is not adjust, not removable. It is fully adjustable. This featherweight material is like a nylon coat, like a nylon puffer coat. Super smooth and soft. Feels amazing. I think I just mentioned that your strap is adjustable, but not removable. You have a zipper pocket right here on the front. You have a full zipper top closure. And then on the inside, you get a zipper pocket right there. And that is the interior lining. This one I used once for a few days two or three days, something like that, but it is in like new condition. Literally no wear, no stains, no issues of any kind. Perfect condition. Next up is the Lug Tenor in Violet. This is a case just like my Carson Crossbodies where I have so many of these at this point and so many bags in this exact violet color that I need to cut down on my tenors and my violet bags because I have so many of both. 
So the Tenor has these two top handles. It does come with the adjustable removable crossbody strap. It is a one and a half inch strap. I don't have it connected right now, but I do have it. It does go with the bag. Soft lined um, cell phone pocket there. Huge zipper pocket across the back. And then tons of organization on the inside. I don't remember if I even used this one or if I just cut the tags off and the strap off because the tags are in there. Um, this one you get two cargo pockets, a key bungee, and then a clear view zip. But I do not know what I did with the pouch that goes with this one. So this one does not come with the pouch. If you would like a pouch with it, I'll put two different prices for this one. One with a pouch, one without a pouch. If you want a pouch with it, I can absolutely send you one, but it will not be the violet pouch. It'll just be a random tenor pouch from one of my other tenors. So that is the lug tenor in violet. Next up is the lug slider. And this one I believe was called berry purple. Again, I had the matching strap for this one. I just didn't pull it out for the video because I had enough to do already. This one is a really classic shape. It's got that tapered shape, really comfortable against the body. You have a zipper pocket here, a zipper pocket here, soft line cell phone pocket, another huge zipper pocket all the way across the back. And then on the inside, you get a clear view key bungee and two cargo pockets. This one has been used a few times. You have your feet on the bottom. No wear, no issues, no stains, no anything like that. This one again is in like new condition. So that is the Lug Slider in Berry Purple. Next up, the Vera Bradley Large on the go in Kaleidoscope. So this one is a very large bag. You get your adjustable but not removable strap. So you can see this makes a really large shoulder bag or crossbody bag. You have a huge zipper pocket on the front, two slip pockets on each end. On the back, you have a huge magnetic slip pocket. And then on the inside of this one, you get not only a ton of room in there, but you get two huge slip pockets there, a zipper pocket across the back if you can see that and then on each end of the bag you get an additional slip pocket that has the elastic around the top so you have one on that end and then one on this end as well these bags are absolutely fabulous if you love a big bag I have just found myself gravitating away from larger bags and more into medium to small sized bags so these are getting neglected. Gorgeous pattern, pink base, no wear, no stains, no issues, beautiful condition. It's, it's like new. Oh Lord, we're finally getting into the home stretch. Thank goodness. Okay, next up is this stinking cute little Amy Kestenberg bag that I absolutely love and adore. But I have never used it because it is just too small for me. So it has this fully functioning zipper pocket right here on the front that I had intended to make my wallet, but I never used it. And then you have a magnetic snap closure. That mag snap is super strong. I forgot. There's also a slip pocket on the back that just for reference will hold my phone and there's just a little bit of extra space there again I use a Samsung Galaxy S22 the regular size and then this zipper along the bottom side is just a, an aesthetic detail it doesn't function you have a fully adjustable strap with the buckle attachment. I just unhooked it so I could roll it in there properly without making it a mess. And then on the inside of the bag, there are the tags still attached because I've never used it. And then on the inside there, if you can see, you get a zipper pocket along the back. 
This bag is absolutely so daggone cute, you guys. I love this, like, Kelly, this bright Kelly green. It's just too small for me. I wish that I could make this work. I have test packed it so many times, but I always need just a little bit more. So it's time to let this one go to somebody that can fully enjoy it. So it is stamped down here with the Amy Kestenberg logo. It's a pebbled leather. It's incredibly soft and smushy and it's just beautiful. It's a beautiful bag. So that's the next one. Up next is this little bag and I picked this one up a while ago. I can't remember where I got this one, but this is a leather bag and you can clearly see this is a dupe for the YSL Lulu bags. And it is a good one. It doesn't have any logo, but it has the turn lock closure right here. I just tied the chain strap together and tucked it in so it wasn't flopping all over the place. And then just like the regular Lulu, you have a large open compartment here, large open compartment in the back, and then a zipper pocket in the middle with a divider. And I believe, yeah, you have another zipper pocket back there if you can see that. And then a slip pocket right here on this wall. No pockets or anything on the outside, but you have that beautiful chevron quilting. I did use this a couple of times, but it has no wear, no stains, no issues. That's just buzz. <laughs> but it's a beautiful, beautiful bag. Silver hardware. Like I said, the four grommets so you can pull your strap and adjust it how you want it. Beautiful bag. I just don't use it anymore. So... It should go to a better home. So that's the next one. Next up we have an original lug scoop in the watercolor pearl pattern. So this one I distinctly remember I cut the strap off of this one and cut the tags off. But it's never been used. So it is brand new unused. You have a soft line zipper pocket. Then another huge zipper pocket. Then a double zip pocket here with a fully built in wallet. Another zipper pocket on the back, and then you have your main pocket with some slip pockets, and another zipper pocket, top handle, fully adjustable, removable crossbody strap. This one, this is a bag for somebody that loves compartmentalization. So, I'll show you really quickly, like the big built-in wallet pocket, you have a bunch of card slots there, a big zipper pocket in the center, two cargo pockets there. And then like right here on the front, you have your soft lined cell phone pocket that will fit any phone. These are great bags. I just have a ton of them. So that was the Lug Original Scoop and Watercolor Pearl. Next up, I have a Lug Mini Shuffle Crossbody in the Camo Rose, I believe was this pattern. So it is a camo pattern, but it's like pinks and grays and like an icy blue-gray. It's a really pretty pattern, but for some reason this bag style just didn't work very well for me. So you have your vertical cell phone pocket there that is soft lined. You have a slip pocket on either end. Zipper pocket on the back that is open in the top so you can get color items in there. Of course, this comes with its adjustable removable crossbody strap that will come with it. Then on the inside, you have two slip pockets, a key bungee, a clear view zip, and a privacy zip. So this one was used once for a few hours, and then it was put up and never touched again. No wear, no stains, no issues. Perfect condition. This one just wasn't my favorite style for some reason. Next up is the Lug Mini Dory in the Violet. So this one I believe came with the one and a half inch strap. I love this shape. These are just a little bit small for me. Especially after I got a bunch of my Dory mediums. But still a beautiful bag. I told y'all I had a ton of these violet ones. So on this one you get your two little top handles. You have your magnetic soft lined pockets on both sides of the main pocket main zipper pocket and then on the inside of this one you get a clear view pocket a key bungee two cargo pockets and a privacy zip and 
than just the open space there. The tags for it, I think I used this one once. Of course, the longer strap will come with it, all of that. No wear, no stains, no anything like that. However, I realized when I ordered this one, I didn't notice it at first. And then after, after, after I used it a little bit, I realized that the logo is offset just a little bit. I don't know if you can tell it there, but it is. It's offset just a little bit. So I wanted to make y'all aware of that. Otherwise, this bag is perfect. No issues of any kind. Next up is a bag I didn't think I would ever actually get rid of, but that's okay. So this is the Vera Bradley, and I believe this was called the Triple Compartment Satchel. And the pattern is Field Flowers. So this is a fairly rare pattern. It's hard to find, but it's extremely vibrant, beautiful, colorful. I purchased this one pre-loved, and it did not have the strap with it. However, it came with a black strap. So any black strap that you have will work on this because it does have the D-rings for the crossbody strap to connect onto. I just purchased it without the strap because I have plenty of black straps. But your crossbody strap will connect there to one D-ring and then right here to the other D-ring. So... This one, as far as I can tell, no stains, no wear, no issues or anything like that. You have the faux leather lining on the bottom. You have your two um, shorter handles there go over the crook of your arm, no problem. And then it's called the triple compartment satchel because it has two magnetic snap pockets on either side of your main zipper pocket in the middle. So your main zipper pocket doesn't have any additional pockets inside of it, but your pocket on the front of the bag, so the Vera Bradley logo is right there in black, and the big open magnetic snap compartment there has two slip pockets, and then the open magnetic compartment in the back has a really large zipper pocket right there if you can see that and then it just has that really sweet kind of flower lining so this is a really good bag but it's not it's it's just not one that I used so I figured I would throw this one up in case anybody else had been looking for something in field flowers so that's the next one up next is the Fossil Rachel Sydney. I don't know. It's one of Fossil's uh, like barrel speedy type bags. And this one is in just a beautiful kind of mustard yellow color. That looks fairly accurate right there. So you have the little keychain dangle thing with the key on it that's signature to Fossil. You have your two top handles here that easily go over the crook of your arm. Along the back, you have a really nice sized slip pocket. And right down there, you have your fossil logo. No feed or anything on the bottom, but also no wear, no stains, no issues of any kind down there. I did use this one a couple of times, but not too, too much. And then you have a double zip closure that goes pretty much all the way down on each side. Your D-rings for your adjustable removable strap. And then on the inside you have a zipper pocket along that wall. And two slip pockets along that side. And then just all of your open space. So y'all already know, like I mentioned earlier, I have a ton of these speedy-esque shaped bags because they are fabulous but I also have so many of them that I have to start letting a few go and this little fossil was not getting the love it deserved so I figured I would throw it up in case anybody was interested in it so that was the next one up next is a lug vegan leather coupe XL and this one is in the navy blue so, um, this one comes with 
the longer adjustable removable crossbody strap but the crossbody strap to this one is in that darker blue and green kind of plaid you can't even really tell that it's plaid it just looks like a dark blue until you really really get up on it but that strap obviously will come with this so the coop xl is the coop xl on the back you have the little uh straps i can't think i'm getting so tired you guys you have the two little straps where you can put the strap through it to make it a belt bag and then you have two zipper compartments so the first one is just open and there's that pattern the ring light is on it right now so you can see the distinction between the colors a little bit better but if i back up here that's more accurate that's what your strap looks like it pretty much just looks like a dark blue and then this back zipper compartment, you have an additional zipper pocket there. And then a clear view window. So these are super, super simple. People love them. They love to use them in all sorts of ways. Crossbody, shoulder bag, belt bag, sling bag, however you want to use them. So that is the Lug Vegan Leather Coupe XL in the Navy Blue. Next up is a little nylon Steve Madden. So this one is a legit Steve Madden, if you can see the little logo there. It has, I don't know, dust or fuzz or something on it, but Steve Madden. And this is a turn lock. So it is a real flap bag. It comes with a kind of sporty guitar strap that says... I don't even know. It has some some kind of crazy Steve Madden logoing on it. It is a slide adjustment, but this is a rather short strap on me. So I'll show you what it looks like, but I absolutely love the hardware on this. It has the swivel to it, and it's super thick and chunky and durable and heavyweight. And it just clips on that's what these do and then this is where this bag hits me on me so you can see that this strap is quite a quite a short strap at least for um, someone like me that's not teeny tiny but I do believe this was intended to be more of a shorter kind of you know that super chic stylish kind of sling look but you have your strap on the back you have a mag snap slip pocket turn lock closure and then on the inside of this one you get what do you get two slip pockets and a zipper pocket on the back otherwise it is just one open compartment so this one is a good size i love steve madden's nylon it's great quality i used this bag once with a different strap on it it's super comfortable i just don't use it like i literally don't use it so somebody else should get a chance to use this awesome little bag so that's the next one this is the second to last one you guys so this is the Lug Trolley Crossbody 2. This, I adore this lime green color. This bag style just doesn't work for me, unfortunately. So you have tons of zipper pockets on the outside. You have a huge one right here on the front with a built-in wallet. Zipper pocket on this end, zipper pocket on this end. Super long zipper pocket back here. You get your top handle. You get your magnetic phone pocket here, and then your main pocket. You have your adjustable removable crossbody strap there. And then your main pocket, you have a clear view zip, two cargo pockets, and a key bungee in there. This does have a really good amount of space to it. It's a really good size bag. It's just not my favorite. It just doesn't work for me. But I love this color. So I want something else in this lime green. <laughs> but 
But this is the second to last bag, you guys. Oh, and this one I used one time. It is still in perfect, like new, brand new condition. No stain, no wear, no issues of any kind. It is literally in perfect shape. And then the very last bag is this Kate Spade. So this is the Kate Spade Dumpling Satchel in black. And I absolutely love the way this bag looks. And you guys know that I am a huge fan of a black handbag. So you're probably like, Amber, why are you getting rid of this? It's because this bag is too compartmentalized for me and I can't utilize it correctly. So the way that it looks, you don't have any pockets on the outside. You have feet on the bottom. You do have a structured bottom on this one. So it has plenty of support. It will not sag. You have the Kate Spade logo right there on the front. And then you have these so incredibly comfortable thin rolled handles on the top that if you're like me and you have smaller hands, these just fit in your hand so nicely. But here's why this bag doesn't work for me. You have a mag snap pocket section here, another one here, a zipper pocket here, another mag snap section here with your adjustable removable crossbody strap there, and then another mag snap smaller section right here. So this is essentially divided up into five different sections and I just it's just not the easiest for me to use. And I've got my Ella tote right here from Kate Spade that's in the black. I've got a couple of other black Kate Spade bags. But I just love the curvature and the folding of the leather on this one and how it, I just love the way it looks. But it just doesn't work very well for me, you guys. And it makes me so, so incredibly sad. So I used this bag once for about six hours and I got just frustrated that I couldn't get my things where I want, wanted them and this bag was made for somebody that is far more organized than I am. So again, you have your D-rings right there and right there to attach your crossbody strap. Like, it's a gorgeous bag. It has zero wear, zero issues. It is practically brand new. It is just a style that doesn't work for me even though I love it so much. So that was the last bag for this vlog sale. All right, y'all. So that was the last bag for the vlog sale for right now. I could have absolutely pulled out more, but I am exhausted just from pulling all of these out. So I, I gave up for now and I quit. There will be more vlog sales in the future and I'm sure there will be plenty more bags. But for now, that's it. So... Let me go over everything again just one more time so I can be super clear. So all of the prices are listed for folks in the continental U.S. Again, if you are outside of the U.S. and you're interested in anything, I am more than, well, more than willing to ship it to you. Just please email me. Let me know what you're interested in. And I will try to work with you and give you the absolute best deal that I can. But international shipping is very expensive. So if you're outside the U.S. and you do want to pick up something, I would recommend maybe picking out a few items just to try and make it a little bit more worthwhile, if that makes sense. All payments go through PayPal. That is all that I use. And again, if you're interested in anything, just email me. Let me know what it is because everything is first come, first serve. All of the bags, again, in Group A are $15 if you only want one, or if you want two or more, they are $10 each. A flat $10 or a flat $15. Shipping is included. Everything is included. The price you see is the price that you pay. All of the bags that I showed you for Group B will have their own individual prices that will be listed in the description box below. I think that is everything, and I'm exhausted. 
I have been doing this for hours at this point. Now I'm going to have to edit this video still. So I'm going to shut up and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye y'all.